way back in 2015 that has threatened to shut down the whole earth. And you know, in that prophecy of 2015, I say it now strictly based on the words of my time, I strike the earth with a disease, with a plague, to mark the times of the beginnings of birth pain, that the nations of the earth may know that the coming of the Messiah has drawn nearer. Look at the coronavirus that I struck on the earth. I struck the nations with. Flights cannot go to China. And in that prophecy I said it would be in Asia. Five years away. 2015. Look now what has happened there. Look what's happening globally. Look at the dread. But today now, on this 26th day of February, the year 2020, strictly based on the authority of the words of my time, I have stood before the ancient of days. And now I strike the earth with another plague. And that plague will be characterized by boils, boils, a lot of boils on the surface of the skin of men and women. All people that will touch that infection, it will be contagious with a contagion. And there will be the dread and the terror of death. This is the fullness of time. For the beginnings of birth pain that you see written in scripture that Jesus talked about in the book of Matthew 24. When he said perilous times would consume on the earth. There would be a consummation of perilous times upon the surface of the earth. The face of the earth before the coming of the Messiah. The Lord is saying that he's calling upon all the nations, all men to come to the knowledge of Christ. To repent. And turn away from sexual sin, lies, sexual lust between men and women, men and men, women and women, homosexuality. There is so much sexual sin on the earth. The love of money. They have forgotten the Messiah and the price he paid at Calvary. We need really to pray. China, China there. China. It's don't compare it to anything. If that is to happen, my question is, who is safe? The prophet of God continues and highlights the extreme virulence of this virus. It would be infectious, not only in China, but it was going to spread all around the globe. And the question would be, who would be safe from its grasp? These things are going to continue happening over and over, over and over, over and over. But we need to pray. Because this time, there is a place somewhere where these guys are working on like a new thing. The way it is going to work, we need to pray. It's not all going to be about an explosion. Contamination of the atmosphere. It is really catastrophic. It's chaotic. It will take you time and days to gather the bodies together. See happening far away. It's not going to end there. It's a demonic spirit that has gone on rampage. It will be something that will seem like it flies in the air. COVID-19 can spread through the air. Coronavirus can be transmitted through aerosols. The virus could be aerosolized. It will stop at nothing. Save at prayer. Only prayer can save us now. It's a plague that only God can stop. They will do everything. But God shall give power to his people. So when the form of the Father God came and stood before me, and these are the things that he spoke. So now I'm going to tell you exactly as how I receive it from the Father God. Another great wind is going to sweep all over the world. And when he spoke the word wind, it was made to, for me to know this. Another great wind, worse than coronavirus pandemic, is going to sweep this whole world. The world is shaken with fear and trembling because of coronavirus. Mm -hmm. But the word of the Lord came to say, another worse than coronavirus 
is going to come. When that comes, mm. it will make this coronavirus look like child's play. So when this great wind comes, mm. it will stink people like a hornet stinger. When a hornet stings a person, person feels hot with fire like sensation and swelling like boils appear on their bodies. In the same manner, when this wind stings a person, that person will feel hot like fire over them. Temperature will rise above 100 degrees Fahrenheit. All of a sudden, brothers and sisters, I came across a beautiful beloved in the Lord. His name and everything just lit up. Okay, his name lit up. And his comment that he made completely, it just lit up the whole comment section. I could, you know, you could still see the video, but all the rest of the comment, the light, the light that was shining from his comment, uh, just, just covered all the rest of the comments. And I was just in awe. And as I began to read this beloved brother in the Lord message, it read something in the lines of this. Uh, it says, uh, Sister Karen, because it calls me Sister Karen. So Sister Karen, he said, whether or not you see this comment, he is right. Side note, that is absolutely right. Because sometimes with the comments, I don't see all of them. You know, I try my best to go through as many, but sometimes I just don't see all. But he started off by saying, Sister Karen, whether or not you see this comment please warn the people that something greater hallelujah Ooh, yes lord he said please warn the people that something greater is coming so we know that we're in the season we know we're in the season of this man-made wicked laboratory witchcraft pestilence covid we know we're in the season it's causing havoc uh torment to a lot of people hurting a lot of people but something greater brothers and sisters something greater than the covid is coming i've said it before this man-made pestilence this covid thing is just a needle in a huge a stack it's just a pebble in the ocean After the rain. Joy comes in the morning